When Prince Harry and Meghan Markle say I do next month, authorities hope they don't notice all the extra security. Tens of thousands are expected in Windsor, England to celebrate the couple's May 19th wedding. So armed and undercover police have spent the last five months preparing one of the most elaborate security plans ever in the picturesque town. Essentially everybody in that crowd is a potential terrorist and you don't need to have spent hours or months building sophisticated bombs or other weaponry. With vehicles a weapon of choice for terrorists as they can ram them into crowds, road barriers are going up and police will use license plate recognition technology. Add to that metal detectors, wands and bag searches. Police will also be on horses, in the air, along the River Thames and with search dogs. British Transport Police will be patrolling Windsor's rail station as extra trains are added for the big day. Specialist teams will be ready to deal with any suspicious items left behind. Even with that level of activity, even with the best intelligence, there is still a small risk. But it's a risk that is accepted. It's accepted by the royal family, it's accepted by the police. The biggest risk may come when, as William and Kate did at their 2011 wedding, Harry and Meghan will ride through crowds in an open-air carriage. Police say that's when they'll be watching most closely. Terry Okita, CBS News, Windsor.